Welcome to JGod Gaming. In today's video, I wanted to focus on how to use my spawn guide for team deathmatch in Call of Duty World War II. The map we'll be looking at is Flak Tower, and what we're going to be doing is kind of breaking down kind of how you play the map and how you know when the spawns flip and different things like that. So what we'll do is just kind of look at it and get into it. And to practice these types of things, you really just can load up with bots, put it six versus six, and you're on one of the teams, or five versus six, and then you're on one of the teams. And then just pretty much play the map and just kind of watch and kind of anticipate when the spawns flip based off where your teammates are and where the opponents are coming from. So what I have now on the screen is just showing you where all the spawns will be. So typically these are the areas that your enemies and yourself will spawn in. So just kind of paying attention to the mini map. You can see that the enemy team um, is still going to be on the front side of us because we have teammates spawning behind me. So kind of just using that knowledge. I know they're going to be pushing from this side. When I come around the corner, there should be an enemy. Um, and there he is. So as you kind of push around this left side, you kind of see that the enemies will continue to spawn out of this side. If you block the spawns, they have to spawn on one of the other supplemental spawns, which isn't always a good thing. So a lot of times when you're pushing into an area, you don't want to push all the way into their spawn because then it'll flip the spawns. A lot of times if your teammates aren't prepared for it, they'll be taken out from behind and then they kind of screws up the momentum of your team. So a lot of times you just want to control where they're spawning from. And the benefit of doing that is you really control where they're going to be coming from. They're, they're limited on their choices of movement. So if you tend to go ahead and block all these spawn areas, you can see now they're spawning on the opposite side. Spawns have flipped. Teammates are going to be spawning behind me. You'll see the green arrows appear. So come around over here, kind of clear out the area. They're still spawning in front of me. So you can see that they're all there, just spawning in front of me. As long as no one pushes too hard, we're not going to block those spawns. So I'm just kind of waiting out, making sure that we're good to go on this side. And then pretty much what will happen is the map will continue to push from this side. And as long as our teammates don't get too deep into their spawn, we should be pretty fine as far as predicting where they're going to be coming from. But you can see teammates pushed a little too far. We still got a couple of teammates on this side, enemies on this side, but it looks like the spawns are flipping. Another downside of having the spawns flipped often is you have to run back and forth and then kind of enemy and teammates start to scatter so it's not really predictable where they're going to be coming from. So you can see right here that the spawns haven't 100% flipped but it looks like they're going to. So I'm just kind of waiting and predicting for it to happen. So you can see the spawns are starting to flip. If they came from that side, our teammates are all behind me. No one's pushing forward. And a lot of times there's a kind of like an invisible line that you just don't want to cross. And so right here, as long as I don't push past um, that area that I just walked through, the, air, the spawns pretty much just stay where they're at. So I got all my teammates behind me. There's guys pretty much all the way behind where, where they should be. And then enemy team is kind of spawning up into this front section where I'm looking and then to the left. So as long as I maintain that area, which obviously I died. So now this spawn's going to determine. There it goes. So now you can see where I'm spawning. I know the enemy team is usually spawning on the opposite spawn. Um, usually diagonal or opposite. So if you're looking at this direction, now I know the enemy team is going to be pushing from this side. A lot of times that middle area can be held down. Um, but if you're going to hang out in that window, you want to make sure you have hunker. Just because that's an easy nade spam. So right here, they're all pushing from the back side. Pick off a couple extra kills. Nothing crazy. But I know they're going to continue pushing from that back side. So since his left teammate, he kind of pushed that way. Hopefully the spawns don't move too much. But since he died, they probably won't. So right here, they still should be behind me. I'm kind of going to push to this side right here because they probably pushed through this side. And then kind of just maneuvering around the map. So you can see there's the arrows or the dots are still popping up on their side of the map. And then they continue to do so. As long as you control the side of the map without pushing too deep, they'll continue to spawn out. So right here, you can see this teammate. He pushed a little too deep. So I kind of go around too just to make sure it's covered. Um, and then pretty much the spawns are starting to flip again. So we'll wait till the enemy team pops up on the other side. There it is. Teammate just spawned behind me. Now I know the spawns have flipped. So a lot of times you want that to look on the actual kill feed. Make sure one of your teammates has died and you'll see where they pop up and that'll give you a good indication of where the enemy team is coming from as well. This is probably one of the most powerful positions in the, the game um, as far as this map goes. So a lot of times what you want to do is kind of peek back and forth. Make sure that you have your back covered. And then pretty much as long as your back's covered, you should be able to get good lines of sight here. Since there's not many guns that can map at this distance, 
uh, other than the assault rifles and obviously a sniper if you if you want to go that route. But a lot of times if you can just hold down and lock down that lane, you're pretty good to go. So you can see now I'm going to push forward to the right. I know the spawns are going to probably flip as soon as we push. If the teammates push too far, they will flip. But from right here, we got a pretty good control of where they're coming from. So right here, they should be popping out from the back side as well as the side. So you can see I, I, multiple times I look at the map. Now I know they're coming from the other side. You can see now they're spawning in that hot spot that I that kind of pointed out. And for whatever reason, it, it, they go to the secondary one depending on where the teammates are. In this particular case, now the teammates full, filled that void. So as long as I push through this side, you'll see that pretty much they should be coming from this back side. So now that teammate pushed a little too far, you can see he's forcing the flip. And now you can see the red arrow or red dots are on the other side. So pretty much that's what ends up happening. Uh, ideally, if you're in a full team, you can make sure the spawns never flip by never allowing it to actually happen. So in this particular case, it's just bots. So they don't know what the heck they're doing. They're just kind of running around crazy and then forcing the spawn flip without even knowing that how that affects the rest of the team. I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comment section below, what you thought of the video, if you found it helpful at all, if you would like me to do other ones. I do have plenty more on the way, so keep tuned for that. If you did enjoy the video in any way, remember to click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We still got that giveaway going on until the end of the year, so make sure you get those entries in by being the first to comment or sharing multiple of my videos. Thank you for watching as always, have a great day.